Hey, what's up everybody? Ryan Harris coming to you from uh, my home office here. Excited to share with you a quick topic about how, what questions to ask to further develop the relationship of trust that you've begun, you've con that you've uh, established or that you're starting to establish with those people that you come in contact with in the world of social media. Now again, remember, when you're connecting with people on social media, maybe it's a warm market. People that you know, people that know, like, and trust you, a hot market, people that are your really good friends you talk with consistently, or even you might be looking for a cold market. So one of the things that everybody asks me and the concern that most people um, send my way is simply this, what questions do I ask to further develop that relationship of trust? Now remember again, this isn't about you. So when you're asking questions, a rule of thumb that I have is I always ask four questions to every one question that people ask me. Four questions to everyone. It's all about listening to what people have to say versus trying to fit your agenda into what they have in their life. Okay? It's about who you can help and how you can help them. So I'm going to give you my formal axiom here. F-O-R-M-L. And I'm also going to attach some questions to those to give you a better understanding of what are some things you can do to start a conversation with people that you've contacted or that you're reconnecting with in the social media space. So first is the F, family. Take a look at their Facebook page. One of the most, thing, most important things were their Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter pages. One thing they'll show, show you is what's important to them. If there's families there, then you already have a, a platform of, of reaching out and asking questions about their family. Say, you know what, I, I took a look at your Facebook profile. I noticed you have four kids. That's amazing. You know, how many, what ages are they? You know, what, what are their names? And find questions about that. Again, these might be people that you've, you've been in contact with before that you're just reestablishing the connections with. If it's somebody you've never talked to before, how many kids do you have? You know, what ages are they? What are some things that they like to do? What are some things that you like to do? Second is the O, the occupation. Occupation is simple. You know, what do you do for work? Uh, are you a stay-at-home mom? Are you a stay-at-home dad? Do you work professionally? And what do you do for work? And do you enjoy your work? Would you consider yourself top 10% of, of the people that you work with? Is this something you want to do long-term? Okay. The third one is recreation. What are some things you're, you've got planned that are going to be fun for the year? The next three months, six months, nine months. Okay. What are some things you enjoy doing? Do you like getting outside, doing outside sports, boating, fishing, swimming, whatever? Okay. The third, fourth one is the M, which is money. Have you been affected by the economy? And then the last one is lifestyle. Lifestyle for the generation Y. It's a great question to ask. Is what you're currently doing something you find you want to do forever? Or, you know, what are you looking with? What do you want to do when you grow up? I even ask that of 30 to 40 year old people that are stuck in a job. What do you want to do when you grow up? It's all about helping people dream again. Ask those questions to help people dream and then they might open up to you and further build that relationship of trust with you. So again, family, occupation, recreation, money, and lifestyle. If you found some value in this video, send me a quick message either here on our YouTube page or, or on Facebook. Send me some more, uh, you know, some feedback. I'd love to hear what you're thinking about, what you, what you want to know more about. We can put another video together for that. But uh, thanks for uh, watching the video. Take care, and we'll be in touch again soon. Take care, everybody.